I S U P K. Hey, Shalom, man. This is Priest Kevin Gondoha with the ISUPK. And the Commander Journey in Holland, California, man. To all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You're going to learn from the priests and prophets of the ISUPK, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. And it's there with that. Shalom. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger. The decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger. Pray to him all the time, but I was just a stranger. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger. The decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger. Pray to him all the time, but I was just a stranger. All I wanted was to be a gangster. And shot call to be known with them niggas letting shots off. Either that or the right hand to the top door. Funny how it's evaded and not the lives lost. Can't be focused on a life that's hopeless. Out there pumping, not knowing the Lord to kill you for that hocus pocus. Used to roll with niggas that cook dope with weaponry. Same ones claim they love you. I had your life in jeopardy. And I know my mother won't success for me. But that G should take a girl straight to ecstasy. Hey, Shalom DC. We're the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. Come out of One West, 125th Street out of Harlem, New York. We come out here to teach, to, to teach blacks and Hispanics who they are in the Bible. Because we are, we are, uh, blacks and Hispanics are lost people in America, man. We don't know which way to go. We don't know who we are. We don't know who our ancestors are. And therefore, we, not moving, we are not moving forward. 400 years of slavery, and we still in the same, we have not moved forward, man, over 400 years. Right. We, we, thought, we thought we'd move forward with a black president. We thought we'd move forward with all this technology and everything, but we still, we still on the same page, man. We still on the same page. And guess what proved it? When the cop, when the cop shot a brother, and, a fa and they had court, and the and uh, oppressor, the, the cop, she gets sentenced 10 years, and her brother, gives her a hug. And the black judge comes down to give her a hug, man. Well, guess what, man? I had no problem. But it, 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 that only shows that blacks, you are, you, you have to be the lowest people, man. Why, why do I say that? Because only, only the lowest people will have such a high compassion and sympathy like that. Right. The only issue is, black man, we got to aim that sympathy and compassion at our own people, man. That's, that's right. I got no issue with your compassion, black man. I have no issue with your sympathy, man. Well, you have been some people that's laying on, the, laying on the ground. It's some people who are hungry, man. It's some people who are lost, who look just like you when you look in the mirror, that need that compassion first. That's right. That need that sympathy first, man. That's right. But I have no, pro I have no issue with that. The reason why, the reason why we hug white people and hate our, and hate our own is because of slavery. Good job, white man. The white man has done a number on the black community. Right. That oppressor has done a number on our community. You know why? When we can look at ourselves like trash, I can look at another black man and not give a damn about him. But a white man I don't know at all, I can smile ear to ear and tell him good morning and care about him more than my people. The white man has done a number, man. But guess what? Due to the Lord, due, 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 due to the Spirit of God, and due to the eyes to be came, and do the command during your heart and men above him. The, 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 the spirit of the Lord and the wisdom is out here to wake us up. And it teaches the truth, man. The truth is out in the streets today. Speaking. Go ahead. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy. We have been spoiled through philosophy, man. The philosophy of Christianity. Right. When you, when you think about it, when, it's, when, a, situ when a situation happens, Say, say trouble happens, right? Different people were, would react to it differently. Why? Because the way they was raised up or, 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 what, or what they was taught. So say if someone came and it was a fight, it was a fight going on right here. Somebody might break it up because when they was raised up, they was taught to break up fights. Somebody might laugh at it and record it because their environment they grew up in, they like to watch fights and they like that type of activity. They like, those, they like that type of vibes, man. Black due, due, due to the due to the oppression and the murder and the other of, of our oppressor and being a slave for 400 years, we cannot stop loving the, our oppressor. We cannot stop loving the, the Caucasian man, the man who has put us through all the hell, the man that has stripped us of all of our culture, man, and all and all of our history. 
We cannot stop loving him but stop having sympathy for him. Today, black man, we're gonna read scriptures about the Lord giving us vengeance. And, but we gotta earn that vengeance from God. We gotta turn back to God and, get, and obey his voice. And the first thing you gotta do is love your neighbor. Your neighbor is a man that looks just like you, man. Your neighbor is another black or Hispanic. Your neighbor is those children that are, that are locked up in the cages in the border. Not some, not some uh, racist cop. Not some racist cop that sees that sees your dark skin or that or that sees your Latino uh, see your brown skin and shoot you, man. They got enough love here, man. Go ahead, read it again. Verse eight. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy. The philosophy of Christianity. That's what we love. That's what we love, and 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 we love and smile with our with our uh, oppressor. That is, we, we are, our mindset has been spoiled. We have been brainwashed, man. Brainwashed to love our enemy and to hate ourselves, man. It's just going read on. Tell him come. And they deceit. After the tradition of men, and the vain, and the vain deceit, man, and the vain, and the vain deceit, man, the, the the deceit of the American dream. This image is deceitful, man. America is deceitful. This whole this whole time we living in America, that black that black judge that did, that went through all that college to become a, a to become a judge. The, secu the officer that combed that comb that um that the, the oppressor's dog hair and, and showed her sympathy, man. They are doing all of that because they do not know who God is. They are doing all that because that is the that is the American way. If, if the white man is the richest and is, is the richest race on the earth, why not be like him? Why not copy him if he's the strongest race on the earth? Why not be like? Why not show him? Why why not show him compassion and sympathy over another black man when I'm black? It's 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 it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good brainwashing. That's all what it is, and it all started with this image right here, because in the Bible, when you hold up this Bible right here, in Revelations it says Christ is a black man. Right. But when you see this image right here, the the white man is the Romans have painted Christ and has whitewashed him and made him, and made him a white man. So now in slavery, when all of us was in slavery and we grew up Christian, we seen this image right here. So now if it's, it's, only, it's only natural that we are gonna look up the white people like they are our savior. Like they are, like, like they are our God. When they are our oppressor, man. That's right. This is not Christ. But we have this image as Christ. So that's why when any white man, no matter, no matter any oppressor, kills, murders, rapes, take a whole land, kills 77 million Native American Indians, kill 99 million of uh, um, Negro slaves in a translated slave trade, we'll still give them a hug because we look at the look at them like like they're God. We look at them like they are like they are our savior, man. Damn this image, man. We look at them like they are our savior. We have been spoiled through philosophy. And black man, the ISUPK is out here to give you the truthful and this old ancient philosophy that was the before Christianity. Before Christianity, black people, we knew Christ was black. Right. Before Christianity, we knew who our enemy is. We knew the Egyptians had us in slavery, and we knew that a prophet had to come in the spirit of God and by the power of God to save us, save us from our oppressor's hands, man. And we are here to do the same job, to wake our people up and to let them know that the white man is your enemy, man. To let him, to let you know, no, no matter how much you give him a hug and give him a kiss, right. that he will not change and he will continue to, ki to kill you forever. That's right. The Bible says that. Keep your thumb right there. Give me Ezekiel 35 and 5. The Bible told us that the white man, that the oppressor was, was going to continue to what's going to continue to murder us, man? A racist cop. A racist cop walks in a walks in a apartment or a building, and she she gets all so called gets over the wrong floor, walks in, open op, opens up, and she she opens up the door, and somebody's in and somebody's in her house, which she thinks is her house, and just shoot her, man. Didn't ask any questions or anything. It's because when she it's because 
black people have been the, the propaganda and the the image of the reputation of black people is that we are nothing. We are nothing in America, so it's nothing to kill us. It's nothing to shoot us. That's why they shoot us so much. The police don't look at it. The police don't look at us like they like like we're human. The police have been has been shooting us, man. Trayvon Martin, Eric Garner, but uh, what's his name? Batham G. I'm sorry, John. They've been racist. They've been lynching us since slavery, man. What we gotta do is just realize who our enemy is and stay far from him, man. And we gotta realize who our brother and who our sister is and give them that same compassion and, and to, that same compassion and love. Oh, go ahead. Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 5. Because thou has had a perpetual hatred. A perpetual meaning continual, man. The white man is with the, the our oppressor. It's never going to love us. He is going to continue to, loot, to use us for labor. He is going to continue to use the blacks and Hispanics for labor to make, to make America great, to continue, continue to use Hispanics to pick his oranges and pick his fruits and put, and put, uh, and put restraints on, um, on, on Caribbean islands so they cannot sell their own damn bananas and their own fruits. He will continue to be a devil. Continue to be a murderer and continue to be a greedy, a, greed, a, a greedy bastard, man. That is his spirit. It's in his blood to be like that. And black man, you have to just know that who you have to know who your enemy is. You have to know who he is, man. That's right. Read. Call to a gun. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel. Our, our enemy has always shed the blood of us, man. Have always since the Greeks, the Romans, since since since, since crazy white men will what will, will, will run up run run after us in slavery with their dogs and lynches, all the way up to the police department now. Right. They've been racist. They've been hated us, man. Black man, your job is to do is to get the, the, to to hold hands and, and sympathize with your people, man. Right. You gotta know. You gotta know that you will not you will not move forward without another black man. You cannot, you cannot leave your brother and leave your race and try to join another race and grow with them. It's not going to work. It's not going to work, man. Go ahead. Call it come. By the force of the sword. Right, we, been, we have been being killed by the force of the sword. Today's sword is what? That gun, that pistol. That pistol that's right on his, that's right on his hip. And when, it, and when he pulls you over, when he pulls you over, if you if you are another Caucasian, you all good. The the, the, other, the other white man that gets pulled over, what are you pulling me over for? What is this? I was not speeding. Don't you got something else better to do? He hops out. The, the other white man hops out. He jumps in the police officer's face. You, you got one white man that, that grabbed a police gun and he still didn't get shot. You got one, you got one white, you got a black man that hops out. He got his hands up. His 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 index finger twitched and they they Quick draw McGraw. Blasting, man. Like target practice. That's what we are here. We just targets to these to our oppressor, man. Right. We nothing but target practice to them, man. And black man, the only way, the only way we're gonna get protection is coming back to God. I know, I know, and you know what? I know that sounds so corny. Why does it sound corny? Because our black pastors have cheapened the image and the reputation of God. Right. They have cheapened it, man. I was talking to Jesse Jackson and Dr. King, man. They have cheapened the reputation of God, and they have cheapened the image, the fear, the, the when, when, when you used to speak about God, the reputation of the Most High, and he's still a terrible power. But for human beings, he was known to be a terrible, terrible power, not, and, not, and God was something not to be messed with. Now today, our black pastors have made the reputation of God and, and made God seem like something that he works for us, a, a power that works for us. Well, we are supposed to be gaining the attention of God and begging for him and, for, and, and, and trying to get God to remember us so he can save us and protect us in this hellhole called America, man. Go ahead. In the time of the calamity. In the time of our calamity, man. How long have, you, have blacks and Hispanics been living in hell? How long have we been in slavery 
by and be, be, being enslaved by each de, each dynasty, enslaved by Egypt, enslaved by Greece, enslaved by Rome, enslaved by the Persians and the Medes. Black man, the only way we're going to stop this next this, this slavery, man, and the us for us to have our own kingdom is getting back to the laws of God. That's and that same sympathy when that black when that when that when when uh, when Jean's brother hugged that white woman and that black judge hugged the um hugged that white woman, we gotta hug our people like that. Uh, not not physically, but if you I'm, I'm trying to paint a picture of the forgiveness we have to have for each other. Me being born and raised in D.C. We, we, we beefing against East Streets. You live in Southeast, you beefing with somebody living in Northwest or Northeast. I was in high school, growing up in uh, the, 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 uh, uh, the State of Army area. We, we, we were beefing with somebody from 37th and Southeast. Imagine if we, if we were... Imagine if, imagine if, 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 imagine if I start beefing with somebody from Southeast. I saw beef with somebody from Northwest. I said, "Yeah, you and my brother, we, we used to, we, you and my, you and my, uh, my uncles and fathers, we used to shoot at each other. But now look, man, we got a bigger enemy. I'm black and you black. We got a bigger enemy. This man is, this man is trying to gentrify us out of D.C. D.C. is no longer chocolate city. I got, we got to stop beefing against each other and stop beefing over, you know, who want to sell some tree right here, who want to sell some tree right here. Let's get together, and get some, and, and get some legal business." Let's get some restaurants and sell whatever, some clothes. Let's stop getting service from AT&T and T-Mobile. Now, a black man is the, first, is the one that created a cell phone. So obviously another black man, another black woman could create a, the, a black cell phone service. And we can get, we can, we can, um, hey, we can have our own black cell phone company, man. That's what it's time for, man. You're not going to be able to make it without your people. And then you have to give sympathy and compassion to another black man or, or a black woman. Where you at? Give me um, continue to read. Go ahead. In the time that the iniquity had an end, right? Even in the time when our iniquity had an end, four four hundred years of slavery, man. Let that sink in. Black people, you've been here four hundred years. By 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 the, if if uh, if another race was here for four hundred years. They, they surely would have a piece of land, right? You at least own a half, ha a black people at least own half of America. It, well, it happened, it happened for the Jewish. The Jewish people went over there to Israel and said, this is my land, and claimed some land. Now they're living over there. Black man, black man, we, we, we have been here for 400 years. Where is our land that we can, where is our land where we cannot get gentrified from? Because DC is gentrified. Black people get put out, black people get pushed to Maryland and Virginia. And, you, and we go, we're going to do nothing but continue to get pushed and pushed and pushed until we, start, until we stand to hold our own, man. Go ahead. That's it? Give me, um, give me Ezekiel 3. Ezekiel 16 and 3. The, re the, reasons, why, the reasons why that black judge and that brother hugged, that, hugged, hugged the person that murdered that brother Go ahead. It's because it's because of the slave mindset. My whole life was trying to find something to follow. Hand loyalty, every man tried to borrow. Felt pain and a lot of sorrow. Got betrayed, so packed. I didn't even have my heart broke. Living confused. About to lose hope. Cops got me on the side of the road like a sideshow. Need an antidote before I croak. Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues. Call this guitar smoke. Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction. The world got me vexed. Picked up a bad lick of habit that's already turned from oppression. Felt like my life was on fire, trying to find an exit. Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck. Sometimes a follower is a soldier, trying to find a good ship. Plus, when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom, the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell. No calling can cause pain. Something that a rebel knows very well. Can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword.